probably wasn't the best idea to feed him his dinner before taking photos for my products because now he's wearing lipstick. Thanks, he says, I enjoy dinner with my whole face. I do. He looks like that meme with the grandpa that ate paint. That's what it always reminds me of. And lots of people have been asking about Miss Harlow. She's just been vibing. Um, she's just eating some of her alfalfa pellets. She cut her leg today, so that sucks, but it's just a surface wound, so she's just gonna chill. Her weight's gotten way better this winter, so I'm just feeding her lots going into winter. She does need more top on it. She hasn't really been doing anything, so I'm not too concerned about it. Is there a deer out there? I don't see one anywhere. She's like, I've been looking for a while. Yeah, no deer. Yeah, she's just been chilling. I'm gonna try to ride her more over the winter. Mace is using the grooming station that I made. If this will load. She says, I'm self-scratching. Yay, I love it when they use it. This shelter did have straw bedding. They love eating it. So, as you can see, June's eating it right now. So yeah, it looks like we don't bed them, but we do, they just like to eat it. She's like, I really enjoy this. I'm glad you guys are using it. See, check it out, she's scratching. Hi, I'm watching you, I know. Hello. Are you itching? Hi, you're just itching. Oh, you have a dreadlock. When did that happen? When did you get a little dreadlock? Scratch your neck. She's like, oh, I like that. She's just recently actually started enjoying scratches before she would just tolerate them. But now, now we actually enjoy them. Look at that lip. It's about time, because tolerating and enjoying are two different things. I'm so itchy. Bobo is here too. Oh, is that so good? Is the scratch so good? Oh, it's so good. When the scratch is... You look like a llama. Such a beautiful mare. Oh, you look really silly when you're getting good scratches. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Everyone is here. <gasps> oh, are you itching Junus B back? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my god, he's trying to lick and bite my hand. Oh, thank you. That's so kind. Pogo, you're being kind of weird. <laughs> Junus B earns Dirtiest Horse of the Week medal. Good job, Junus. Congratulations on your prize. Let's do the full 360. So yeah, for Dirtiest Horse of November, we have Miss June. Congratulations on your win, Juniper. You even beat the gray horse. Cause Pogo, for whatever reason, is the cleanest horse today. Do you want your neck scratched? Yeah. Such a good scratch. It only took like a year for her to decide scratches are. Oh, hi, that's my sweater in your mouth so gently. Milo is looking good. He needs way more top line and he's lost some neck muscles. He's like, if this gate was open more, I would limbo under the wire. And since it's not, I'm a little bit sad. I would like to know where you guys are going that has ankle deep mud, because I haven't been able to find it. Are you escaping somewhere? Are you going somewhere you're not supposed to? Are you? Look at how beautiful she is. Such a pretty girl. Marla, did you know you're gonna be 12 next year? You're gonna be 12 years old. Um, pardon me. Don't resource guard me from your sibling. Okay, I am just but a scratch in the post. Just like, please get my chin. Oh, you're gonna be 12 years old next year. How about that? 
Oh my goodness. He's like, look at this. Oh my god, he's like standing on top of me. This is not safe, children. Don't stand under your horses at home. The world is ending and I just want to enjoy the life that I have while I'm here. So I'm going to stand under my horse. So itchies. So many itchies. So anyways, my, that's what I was saying before you interrupted me. You're going to be 12 years old next year. 12 years old. Isn't that crazy? You're going to have lived with me for 10 years. I've put up with you for 10 years. Oh my goodness. 10 whole years. What do you think? He's like, just give me scratches, women. My little... It's like a woman's place is scratching my chin and in the horse kitchen making me dinner. Milo is a misogynist. It's a Milo's version of misogyny, but it applies to all genders because he is king. He doesn't discriminate. Banks, he's like, how dare anyone not pay attention to me? Banks, you're so annoying. <laughs> Hello, no. poke. Go do something else. Go nibble on some hay. You know, like, what if I nibble like on some people? <sighs> He's like, please pay attention to me. Baby, are you wearing the new neck rope? Leather neck rope. They're like, we're the bee sues people for using his honey. I always say Milo's gonna do that to me <laughs> for using his likeness for my brand. This is the neck rope. Banksy, you look so handsome. Banksy's like, buy my neck rope. It's leather, so if you decide to put a leg through it like a silly little man, it'll break. <laughs> Yay, right? You can be a silly little man in it, right? So Milo is modeling today, right Milo? It's like, I'm dirty, this is not good modeling. You suck at business. Hey, good, good boy, boy, Milo. You angel, <laughs> you angel baby. Hey, baby. I just vibe. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> Look at that lip. Yep. Phoebe had her TPLO surgery almost two weeks ago. She had like a little sore from where they put the IV in or like shaved her leg down and the bandage got like stuck to it and then Give her a sore and she's licked at it, unfortunately, because she can reach it around both hands. So she's a little sore on that today from licking it, but otherwise she's walking really good because before the surgery, she couldn't even stand properly because um, both knees were damaged. So yeah, she's doing really well. She gets her stitches out tomorrow. And yeah, she's doing well, but my bank account isn't, right, Phoebe? You expensive little dog. Hi, Banks. Are you ready to work? You freaking teacher's pet? He's like, yeah. Like, let's go. Come on, <laughs> let's go to work. Your very important job as a, a model for Milestone Equestrian. Come on, I'm not walking over to you. I'm the boss. Ha ha, good boy. Hi, you dirty mouthed little creature. We're going. Thanks, you. You're hiding right behind me, sir. What? How many brain cells do we have? That is not standing. You're a bad listener. It's like, I will follow you everywhere. Good boy. Look at you in the neck rope. Can you? Handsome. Oh my gosh, why? Why do you have to stand right on top of shit? Oh, where are you going? Hey, hey. Come on, where are you going? It's like, I have no idea actually. I just do whatever I want, come on. Go over here, go tie yourself up. Thank you, good boy. It's like, I am tied.
Yeah. What a good baby. Look at him. Good job. I almost lost half of your cookies. That was <laughs> what a oh, good boy. Okay, I'll let you go first and I'll follow you. Look at that good boy. Wow. His ears are so small. He's like a little teddy bear. Yeah, like little freaking pony red you're so handsome. There you go. You're so oh, handsome. Yeah. This way. This way. Come on. Look at that little man. <laughs> good boy. What a good man. Yeah, he's not done a whole lot of trot in this battle, so I'm like, never know what he's going to do. Necro. I'm just gonna walk, okay? What a good boy. Because I'm too scared to trot you bridleless. I'm a chicken. What a good man. Look at that. He's coming back. He wants to trot so bad. He's being so good. This is a shit show. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy canoodly. Oh my god. And look at all the ones still have to unbox here.